Hello everyone, today I will be rototilling to add in a pumpkin patch. So we'll be making a pumpkin patch right here. So I'll be rototilling all this. You can see I've already kind of begun on it. But here we go. Let's rototill for a pumpkin patch. size pumpkin patch. I'm not sure if we need to go more than that but I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there and if we need to go more we'll do more later. Very hard ground but that thing makes pretty good work of it. A little difficult holding it steady but at least we have that. Can't imagine that doing that by hand. That's where our pumpkin patch is going. Hey everybody, so James made this fantastic pumpkin patch for me and I'm going to plant it. And it's a little early for pumpkins for the harvest fall season, so I'm going to use my time and the space for other things like summer squash. And I'll show you what ones we're going to grow. So I brought out in my little basket some seeds. This is a lemon squash, so it's a squash that is shaped like a lemon. Doesn't taste like lemon, but it's small, shaped like a lemon, and it's pretty awesome. Lufa gourds, I have been successful growing these only once, but I'm trying again. Never give up. Of course, yellow crookneck, it's a family thing. Uh, my grandfather used to grow them all the time. They're wonderful. Uh, it's, you know, nostalgic as well. And then these, gray zucchini. These are going to be fun. Um, they taste exactly like dark green zucchini, but they're just gray. Um, I like to grow quirky things and try new stuff. I've grown them once before. They did great. Um, you can kind of see in the picture they're a little bit more bulbous than long-wise, but that's, I mean, it's a squash. Once you cut it up and cook it, it tastes the same. And then this is the exciting one. So these are kakai pumpkin squash um, and here I'll show you what the seeds look like this is what the seeds look like if you have ever had pepitas pumpkin seeds on a salad or in type of granola or anything that's where these come from so I grew these last year and um, I waited around and I didn't harvest them and I didn't process them so I'm going to learn this year as soon as these guys are ready to go you just take them out and harvest them that way um here we go you can see the chickens and the dog 
as my constant companions out here. in case the weeds all come back, because that's a thing. Some produce this year for the farmers market. 